Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I'm going to do an acrylic painting. Um, I'm pretty sure this was done out of my head. Um, it looks like a local area here, sort of, kind of. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's been a little while since I actually did this painting. I did it during the summer, maybe August. And, um, I can't remember for sure, but the fact that I don't see your reference photo lying around anywhere, um, pretty sure it was done out of my head. <laughs> um, anyway, I am trying to, I'm trying to kind of make it look similar blocking to, um, this friend of mine who does oil paintings kind of paints in a kind of a block style where it's like flat layers, but I have a hard time sticking to that. Um, you'll see here in a minute that um, I decide my blue's too blue and I'm going to add some extra color to it. Um, so I, I never end up sticking with the flat layers of color. But it was a nice thought. <laughs> and it's not oil. I am using acrylic. I'm definitely not an oil painter, though I do have some. I was gifted a little Bob Ross trial set at one point. So they're around somewhere. I don't think I've gotten rid of them. <laughs> um, so I should give them a real try, I guess. Maybe take a class or something. Learn how to actually use them properly. Um, unlike all the other stuff that I do. <laughs> now I took one acrylic painting class. Once. Back in 2009. I think that's when it was. Anyway. So... I just naturally put snow on the top of my mountains. I live in Utah and by the Rocky Mountains, the Wasatch Range of the Rocky Mountains, and most of the time they do have a little bit of snow, so it's just a habit to add that white. And it's, it's easy to get a real mountain sort of look when you're adding the white. You will see here eventually I cover this all up and try again. <laughs> because when you're doing it out of your head, you're not, you don't, you don't have something to like tell you where the snow is landing and where the mountain, the ed ridges of the mountain are. So you just kind of make it up, and then if it doesn't look right, which it doesn't look right, so I have to do it over again. And you can always speed this up if. It takes too long for you. Um, I do like painting with acrylic because I think it's faster. Um, it dries faster. It's more immediate. And I don't get into a lot of detail. That's I, I don't have the patience, I guess. I like the quick immediacy of getting something. That's why my stuff... Part of the reason, I don't know, skill might be it too. Part of the reason why nothing is like really realistic. Because I don't have the patience for that. I don't know about the rest of y'all. Um, do you have patience for photorealism? I can draw things pretty good. Um, small scale. But, uh, yeah, that just takes too long, in my opinion. So how's everybody doing? By the time this goes up, it will probably be January. Because as I'm doing this voiceover, it is December, and I am doing a, kind of a version of December Daily, which is Daily Affirmations. And the plan is to post some of those videos. So since I'm mentioning it, if I post those videos, I will put a link down below so you can check them out if you're interested. It's not Christmas themed, it's just positive affirmations. Um, 
right now. I haven't hit Christmas yet. Um, so you never know. A little Christmas might pop in there, but that's not the plan so far. It hasn't happened. Alright, so now I'm doing the middle ground and I mix in some, I think that's yellow ochre with some of the blue and the yellow. It's kind of a not so pleasant color going on there, but hey. <laughs> I think I just like mixing paint with my paintbrush because I do a lot of paint mixing. Especially in this video, I mix a lot. It's amazing all the different shades of uh, brown <laughs> you can get with um, the same colors. Just more or less white, more yellow, more blue, a little bit of red. And then of course I have burnt umber and yeah. Okay, so this is a new day because that spot on my table is clean, well semi-clean. I have um, started over with the mountains. Well, not started over, but I decided I I wasn't happy with them. I wasn't happy with the snow, and so first I start with just adding the dark, trying to reshape the snow, and then I think here somewhere, and I go over the top of it. Yep, right here. <laughs> Sorry that jumped a little bit, but um, yeah, I just decide. We'll just paint it all. Not all. Not the whole painting. Just this one mountain, actually. And try again. Sorry, I didn't have anything to say. I'm just washing myself paint. How about you? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So there's a couple different shades of blue, but I don't... That doesn't matter. It, I think it makes it more interesting. So much for the flat color, right? I'm having a hard time too because this page is a little bit bigger and it doesn't quite fit on my little teeny table along with that paint. Put a few little tree silhouettes there and then I decide to go in with the green. I think this is thalo green and some yellow and white. And these paints, the most of them are Grumbacher um, Academy, in case you're interested. They are pretty dang old though, so... Uh, the colors might be I don't know, do they change with age? I think I've had these paints since at least 1989. I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, but they're almost all gone. So soon I will be out of those and I will have to use some of my other paint. I think I've mentioned this before. I feel so accomplished when I can throw an empty tube of paint in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just I'm just putting stuff in to fill in the foreground, just get it covered. Get rid of the white. I had to add a little bit of water. I didn't feel like the paint was moving very well. Yeah, those are very interesting colors. I 
That's my way of making it look like there's grasses out there in that field. Um, you call that a scruffy brush, I call that a, a well-used brush. Kind of flares out at the end. Same brush, I've cleaned it. You didn't see me clean it, but I cleaned it. And now we're gonna put some flowers in this field. Now, there's um, a mountain, it's Mount Timpanogos, and you can drive up and then hike up to the top of it. And there's, um, at certain times of year, they have lots of flowers blooming in the upper valley. I don't know what they call it. I call it the upper valley. Um, I've only actually ever made it up there once. That's only because my brother was bound and determined I was going to make it. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have sat on the side and waited for the rest of them to come back down. <laughs> uh, but I did make it, and I made it up to what they call the saddle. I didn't get quite to the top of the peak because my knee gave out. It just wouldn't go any further. But in the spring when the flowers are blooming, it's really pretty up there. And that's kind of what this, re this picture reminds me of a little bit. And this part could take a lot of time if you were a detail-oriented person. But as I'm not, I just like, you know, immediate, some immediate gratification. So those uh, flowers and the greenery is fast and loose. Oh, and that's a little fluorescent craft paint, fluorescent pink. I wanted to spark up those pink flowers a little bit. And getting pretty close to the end. So I hope you liked this video. If you like my painting, let me know. Um, I, I have a lot of fun creating them. And I hope you enjoy watching. So if you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Do all the things. Leave me a comment. It always helps the YouTube algorithm if, if people leave comments and likes. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And yeah, thank you all for watching.